Hello everyone, welcome to Math Micros. This video is all about the non-verbal reasoning questions almost found in any competitive exams across all age groups. If you haven't watched my other non-verbal reasoning videos, please check the link in the of the different kinds of non-verbal reasoning question. This video deals mainly with the sequences. So in this video, we will look at two examples. Let's get straight to the questions. So this is your first sequence. Before solving this kind of question, let's try to understand the layout of the question. You have a straight line in the middle and you have five boxes to the left, which is actually the series or the sequence. And to the right of the middle line, you have five options A to E and any one of the options can fit into the empty square on the left. So this empty square can be anywhere in the sequence. Here the empty square is fourth, fourth square. So you need to find which option will fit, best fit into the fourth square. So basically we need to find the relationship between these abstract shapes so that that fits into the fourth square perfectly. So before that if you want to do on your own you can pause the video and come back later for the answers. All right, let's have a close look at the sequence. So as you can see, I can see uh, five shapes are there in the first square, but I can see only one shape in the last square, five and then four and then three. So it's sure that we can make sure that these shapes are disappearing when the sequence is growing bigger. Okay, so we need to find out which shape disappears first. So when you look closely at the first square, you can see only this shape is black and the other shapes are white, which means the black shape is disappearing and you can confirm it in the second square. I cannot see the rectangle. This shape is not there. So only we have four shapes left and here this shape is black. So this should disappear. This pointed shape should disappear in the third square and it's not there. So we have left out three shapes and here the rectangle is black so this should disappear in the fourth square right so it should have only a circle and this and this uh, rounded shape so the rectangle should not be there so if you look at the option this option a you can cross out the option a since this has a rectangle and as you can see there is only one shape black in color in each so here in option e you have two blacks right so this also can be ruled out. So as uh, option A and option E are ruled out as of now. So coming back here, we have the two shapes, the round, the circle shape and this rounded shape, rounded rectangle kind. Okay, we have only these. But of these two shapes, you can see the rounded rectangle is there in the last box. So which means the circle is not there. So the circle is disappearing in the fourth square right so the circle should be black in color in the fourth square only then it can be disappearing in the fifth square so the circle should be black and the rounded rectangle should be white so with that in mind if we if we look out the option then it means the right answer is option b this is the right option option b here uh, as per our understanding the circle is black and it will disappear in the fifth square and the rounded rectangle will remain. Okay, so let's move on to the less, next sequence. So this is your sequence. You can pause the video to try all by yourself with the help of the first sequence that we learned and you can come back again for the answers. Okay, it's time to solve. So with the help of the sequence one we learned, let's try to solve this kind of sequence. So you can see this, uh, there is a ball in one side and an arrow connected to the ball with the other side. And you can see this is rotating. This is rotating. It keeps on rotating in the anti-clock, sorry, in the clockwise direction, right? And it is rotating at an angle of around 45 degree. It is rotating 45 degree in the clockwise direction. It's straight down and then it is kind of like side uh, side left side left here and then it is left side and then again it is 
rotating 45 degree here. So what should be the next rotation? It should be straight up, right? So the arrow should be up, which means we can decide either we can decide either it's A, B and C. So it can't be D. It can be D since it's pointing down. And also we can keep the option E. So we have ruled out option D. And we have left out with four options. It's surely pointing to the top. And one more thing. So what's the other difference can you find? So when you look again more closely, you can see like this ball is changing the the colors of the ball are changing like white and black has shifted again to black white and again this shifted to white black so again it's black white so what should be there it should be white black okay so white black white black here you have black white so this is wrong so we can rule out e e as well since it is black white we should have white black which is fine which is same like a b and c we should have that but this is just the opposite of those so we can rule out option e we can have either a b or c Okay, now again looking closely, we can see that there is a straight line attached to the uh, line here. There is a line here, short line. And as you can see, the short line is moving places. So once it is near the ball, then in the second figure, it goes near the arrow. And in the third figure, it disappears. So I think that's the sequence. It's near the ball, then near the arrow, and then it disappears. Then again near the ball, then what should be the last one? It should be near the arrow, right? So with that in mind, which one is near the arrow? Only option C is near the arrow. This one is near the ball. So we can rule out B. And here it doesn't disappear. So we can rule out A. So it should be near the arrow. So option C is the right answer. Hope you had a math boost today. Thank you.